Happy always knows when we are close to Nana's and Papa's. She always knows where she is. She's got some kind of doggy sense. I bet if I took her off somewhere and dropped her off, she would find her way home. She always knows where we are. If we're at St. Mary's, if we're near St. Mary's, she knows we're almost there. If we are in Dallas, she would know we're almost there. If we were at Nana's and Papa's, if we were at Cedartown, it doesn't, if it's somewhere that we have visited multiple times, that dog right there, she knows. Look how excited she is. We are almost there. Go visit Nana's and Papa's today. It's only about an hour and a half. Well, yeah, about an hour and a half from where Tammy's family lives and up here where my family lives. Chickamauga. Chickamauga, Georgia. Here we are. There's a few hills up here. It's not like St. Mary's where it's flat. Lord, look at that girl. She is excited. Happy. You ready to see Nana and Papa? Girl, Whew. soda. Now y'all gotta wait. I gotta get the car in park. Soda, you can't jump down there. You know you can't jump down there. It's too far. It's too far for you. Okay. Here you go. Good. Good girl. Who's next? Marcy? Come on. She's so smart. Hmm. Tammy made me take the dogs with me. She's at home doing work. Lord, y'all are pulling. Man, they know where they're at. Y'all need to go do your job? What'd you find right there? Oh, good girl. All right, come on. Let's go see Nana and Papa. All right, here's why they like Nana's and Papa's. So they can ring the bell. Go outside. Ring the bell, ring Marcy. The bell. Ring the bell. Go outside. Ring. She rings the bell. <laughs> and Nana lets them go outside. Here they go. Here's why they like Nana's and Papa's. Oh, no, it's locked. What are we going to do? Oh, Lord. Because of this big backyard and marcy will walk around the whole fence until she finds a hole and then she'll come around the front and she'll knock on the door and we'll let her in and then we figure out where the hole is watch her she is so sneaky uh-oh they're coming they're already back it didn't last long where's where's Daddy, yeah. So he's been taking a shower for two or three hours? Yeah. He's yeah. getting ready? Yeah. yeah it takes him a while. How about if I just record your voice? I can't <laughs> record my sister, but she's sitting right beside me. There's her hand. Chris. You can see her. You can hear her voice. So let's just do a voice recording. Maybe she would like to Something speak. nice. No, I'm not going to say anything nice. I'm not going to say anything nice. <sighs> Don't you put me on the TV. Okay, I'm gonna turn this around. I'm turning it this way, Chris, away from you, toward me. We went to eat at the Mexican restaurant at the old Peerless Woolen Mill. Yes. Daddy's talking to you. Why are you recording? All right, the dogs went back in. So we went to the old Peerless Woolen Mill, Rossville, Georgia. You know, what was his name? Oh my God, it's a John name. Peerless. Was that his Hello? name? Hello. I thought his name was Hedges. <laughs> okay, yes. Okay. <laughs>
<laughs> Y'all can see soda. So there's Lisa and soda. Can't see her face. Um, anyway. Lisa, I want you to I want you to know that do you know why ducks have feathers? No. Mama, do you know why ducks have feathers? Uh, so they can shake their tail there. No. Are y'all gonna fight? It it covers their butt quacks. <laughs> okay. That's nice. <laughs> butt quacks, gonna, Lisa. If we're gonna cuss, then I've got some things to butt say. Butt quacks. I'm glad they have their feathers. I know. Could you imagine having to look at a yeah. duck's butt quack? Yeah, that'd be horrible. <laughs> I think this video is gonna be big. It's gonna be a big video. Marcy, we're so happy. I brought the grandkids to see mom and daddy. The Here they are. They're all so good. Got a mountain goat soda up here. So you don't have anything to say, Lisa? No. Any apologies no, that you I like to make apologies. to me for the I'm way? Not sorry about anything I've ever. I was retreat. I was treated as a young man by my older sister, I Lisa. Not be on that thing. She was so mean to me. <laughs> I'm gonna cry. Whatever. <laughs> All right, guys, you see that on the dash? You see that box of Krispy Kremes over there? You see all this trash right here? This is the result of Daddy Doggy Day. That's y'all's dogs. You see how they act? Lord, what a mess. I'm gonna have to come back down here. I had to get the donuts because the 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 hot light was on the hot crispy cream light was on so i had to get those i had to make, get mcdonald's because i had to have something to eat so i had to get that but that's the result i guess i'm pour this out that's the result of daddy doggy day I hope y'all are satisfied that y'all's dogs acted that way it's a good thing I got these donuts to keep me to make me relax I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna have to go on a diet when I get back home while I'm up in Cedar Town, up in Chickamauga, I just, I just out of control. I'm just out of control, guys. I've got McDonald's, I've got Krispy Kreme, but like I said now, in my defense, the sign did say hot, hot donuts. You know, Krispy Kreme almost went out of business. They almost went bankrupt. I'd like to see the person. I, I would, I'd like to know how you could screw up so bad that you almost bankrupt Krispy Kreme. They're the greatest things on the history of the planet. I love Krispy Kreme donuts. And I never get them because, stay. Y'all are already, y'all are already in trouble. Did you see the mess y'all made in that truck? Girls, they, they know they're in trouble. But anyway, if you could almost bankrupt Krispy Kreme donuts, I don't know what kind of businessman you are. Woo, what a day. Oh, Lord. It's like taking care of 10 kids. Well, <laughs> that's kind of a, That's probably a, an exaggeration. I mean, it did come out of my mouth, so. The fact that it came out of my mouth 
and I have been home. When I get around the other nickels, it just comes out of me. I just can't help it. I can't help but exaggerate. If you're not exaggerating, you're probably not trying very hard. You're, you're just not telling a very good story. You gotta make it good. Well, guys, I think that's all I, I'm gonna have to stop. I'm gonna have to stop videoing. I'm wore out. Oh, and that woman ain't even here. She ain't even here. She's running around town, having a good time. I guess I'll have to eat off 12 of these donuts by myself. You know, I may like that more than fried chicken. I don't know. It's hard to say. I know that's crazy sounding, but bye.